Another week comes to a close and you already know what time it is. It's time for Exhibit's latest tech show, Tech This Week. For the past few weeks, we have been bringing you the latest tech developments right into your YouTube feed and you all have been loving it. We are elated with the response. Fun fact, did you know that 92% of the world's currency is stored digitally? I'm sure there won't be a money heist happening here. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's talk about the WhatsApp paid plan. WhatsApp has released a subscription service titled WhatsApp Premium which is currently available for beta business users. The instant messaging app has also been an effective way for businesses to communicate with their customers and the premium subscription is targeted only at business users. WhatsApp has not made an official statement about it yet, so the pricing and the launch date of the same remains under wraps. The new plan was long under speculation and has now only been made available for beta tester in some countries. A wider rollout is expected in some time. The first feature of the WhatsApp premium service is the business links. It's a short custom business link that is unique to a certain businesses. The link can be shared with customers to find the business landing page on WhatsApp, thus making it easier to initiate a conversation. Now let's talk about Meta's Quest Pro VR headset. It is not a secret that in the past years, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has been pushing VR technology to make it mainstream. Meta surely believes that its metaverse is the next big breakthrough in technology that can allow our virtual lives to easily integrate with our real lives. While many feel skeptical about how mainstream the metaverse could become, Zuckerberg is doubling down on his vision to make it a success. Recently, at an online event held for developers, MetaConnect 2022, Meta revealed a new VR headset, the Quest Pro. Meta has launched its new Quest Pro VR headset, which comes at a whopping price of $1499. This is almost four times the price of the company's current headset, the Quest 2, which starts at mere $399. The VR headsets boast a thinner lenses, a curved battery, and also controllers equipped with self-track. The pro part of Meta's new VR headset is that it can allow users to see real environment around the periphery of the screen. It comes with mixed capabilities, which means that digital content can be viewed overlaid in the real world. Let's talk about the Twitter's edit option. For years, Twitter users have adamantly for years, Twitter users have adamantly demanded the option to edit tweets. I've had to delete a tweet and write it down after missing out on a word or misspelling one too many times. I'm sure you have gone through the same. But it looks like Twitter has finally heard what its users suggested for years and provided an edit option. But there is a catch. Weeks after Twitter announced that it will launch an edit option for its paid subscribers, the microblogging social media giant posted its very first edited tweet. As of now, only Twitter Blue subscribers living in New Zealand, Canada, and Australia can edit their tweets. Thus, it is a paid feature and not a free one. Let's jump to the iPhone 14 crash detection. During its far out event last month, Apple unveiled a number of new devices and features. One of the key features coming to the latest iPhone 14 series was crash detection. This new feature is designed by Apple to detect severe car crashes like front impact, side impact, and rear end collisions and rollovers too. However, the crash detection feature had a little accident of its own when it detected a crash when the iPhone user was enjoying his ride on a roller coaster. As reported in Wall Street Journal, a 39 year old dentist safely placed her iPhone 14 Pro in her fanny pack before hopping on a roller coaster. She went on the ride getting whipped around in the roller coaster at over 50 miles per hour. However, once she got down from the ride and looked at her phone, she was surprised to see a number of missed calls and voicemails from an emergency dispatcher eager to know if she was safe. The Microsoft Surface Event It's the most wonderful time of the year for tech enthusiasts as giants in the tech industry introduce a slew of new products. After Apple, Google and Meta, Microsoft has now jumped the gun and launched a new lineup of products. The company unveiled a suite of new Surface products during an event held where it revealed that the new Surface Pro 9, Surface Laptop 5, and Surface Studio 2 Plus will be making their way to the tech market. Finally, let's talk about the AMD RDNA 3. AMD plans to paint your gaming PC red with its next generation AMD RDNA 3 GPUs and Zen 4 CPUs. The former will likely rank among the best graphic cards available, 
but they'll face stiff competition from the likes of Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4000 and Intel's Arc Altimus product stacks. The AMD RDNA 3 is all set to release on November 3rd, 2020. Well, that was this week's Exhibit Special Tech This Week video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below about what you think about this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, goodbye.